firstly, well done you for choosing A Love Chemistry. It is the best subject, completely unbiased opinion. Um, I've got so much stuff coming for you. It's going to be amazing. We're going to, like, absolutely sorted. Secondly, everything we told you at GCC was a lie. Yeah, I'm really, really sorry. Um, which is why it's really important that when we do the jump from GCC to A level, you don't have this, like, fixed thing in your head of this is 100% true, everything they told us at GCC, because it kind of wasn't. Um, like, for example, you know these electrons that we had you draw in shells? They looked beautiful, didn't they? They don't actually look, that's not actually what happens. Can you see this? This is a beautiful representation of one, just one, electron. Let me get that in focus. And where it is, you can see this is not a shell in any way at all. Um, and obviously it's not just one electron going around like this. There are loads of them. Yeah, I'm really sorry. I spent so much of your GCC lying to you and making you learn all those lies. But actually, the truth is... Oh, I can't get some focus. The truth is beautiful. So, to help you with the transition from year 11 to year 12 and the, the fact that we lied to you massively, I have stuff in place to help you cope with the transition from year 12, year 11 to year 12. Now this is super, super important this year because there was, I mean not so much chemistry, there was stuff cut out of the curriculum that you didn't know for the exams that you were told that you didn't need to revise and it was different whether you're doing foundation or whether you're doing higher, whether you're doing combined, or whether you're doing separate science, whether you're doing AQA or NXL or OCR or any other exam board. Um, so when you go into a year 12 class, it's going to be a mixture of people that did revise this and didn't revise this and didn't revise this and didn't revise this. And your teacher is going to assume that you know stuff. So the start of your year 12 class, like the starter of it, the first 15 minutes might have been the amount of content that was covered in the whole of GCSE class. Things are going to move very quickly. There's going to be a very high expectation that you keep up with stuff. And now I can always tell who has completely forgotten everything at GCSE when I take over in year 12 class, I always do a little quiz, where are protons? And I was like, what's a proton? I don't understand. And I was like, I taught you this at year seven. Um, they, they just, everyone just forgets. There's this kind of like wall, this mental block between year 11 and year 12 when you start assuming we're gonna start afresh. We're not, we are building on the knowledge from year 11. Um, and things will go quickly. It is going to be a little bit of a shock and there are lots and lots of things you can do to make sure it isn't so much of a shock. So the first thing is I have a massive long playlist of things that are summer start for A-level chemistry where I've taken stuff you should know at GCSE and I've made it a little bit harder so I've taken it and I've expanded it slightly into the A-level content. So when we come across naming things in A levels, it won't be so much of a shock up. So you can go and watch the playlist and go with the playlist. There is a workbook you can download from my website, which doesn't cost very much at all. But what I'm introducing brand new for this year is I'm gonna be doing lots of teaching live where you can join a small group session and I will teach you all of that stuff live. Now, this is not example specific. I deliberately chosen topics that are in every single example because every chemistry is lovely. It's so much fun. But it's the topics that come up across lots of different examples. So it's not example specific. And we're going to be going right from basic fundamental principles. Because I know one of the topics is on, uh, one of the days is on organic chemistry. And I know for lots of people, you didn't need to revise that for GCSE. So you might have done it once in a lesson in year nine and then you'll be going into year 12 lesson, you'll have really complicated structures and you'll be expected to name them. And if you haven't revised it for GCSE, it's going to be a massive shocker. Now I know this, I know that loads of you have done this. So we're gonna start right from very basic principles and then we're gonna work our way through the session all the way up to, this is actually really, really hard a level question, but because we're gonna do it in a small group session, because I'm gonna be doing it live with you, because you're gonna have the worksheets and you're gonna see me working through the worksheets, I'm gonna be able to build you up from, I can't remember how to name anything on alkenes, to, oh, that's really, really horrible, 20, 25 characters in a name there. And because once you learn the rules and once you work through it all really slowly, it's easy. I promise you, it's easy. But if you go into your year 12 lesson completely having done not anything on organic chemistry since you had your 
initial lesson in year nine, year 10, um, didn't revise it for GCSE and then you go into that lesson, it is going to be a massive, massive shocker for you. And um, I really want to avoid you having that shock because it can be really demoralizing, it can be really disheartening to go into that, you know, it'll be coming through lesson, having come out with like seven, eights and nines of GCSE and realize you've got no idea what is going on. So I'm really trying to do as much as I can as someone does to avoid you feeling like that. So there's the playlist, there's a little workbook you can download from my website, and then there's gonna be the, the live teaching sessions that I'm gonna be running as well. Links to all of these are in the descriptions down below. And if you can't do the live lessons when they are live, then you can just come and join them, uh, watch them back later on. You won't be able to ask questions, you won't be able to respond to things, but you will be able to watch them. Um, in the lives, I will be working through questions, you'll be able to see me working through questions, but then you will also be able to interact, so you'll be able to ask me questions, see how it goes. I currently have three plans, one on organic chemistry, one on equations and how we can use equations and stuff like that, because every single year, somebody manages to get through to year 12 and not be able to balance an equation. And we are gonna assume that you can balance equations. So we're not gonna do a whole lesson on how to balance equations. We're just gonna assume that you can do it. And if you can balance equations and you try and blag your way through it, you will rapidly come unstuck in a level chemistry. Um, so I'm gonna show you a few different techniques on how you can balance equations, because there's not just one way to do it. We can use things like oxidation numbers, which I will teach you all about in there. And there's gonna be another one on ions um, and things like that. So three sessions, very, very broad sessions, teaching you GCSE stuff and working your way really slowly up so that when you go into your chemistry, you do have a bit more confidence and you don't feel quite so scared. I very, very nearly finished editing the whole topic videos and then there are courses and there are workbooks and there are gonna be predictive papers. So if you're doing a little chemistry, you have made a brilliant choice. By the time you come around to year 12, Definitely by the time you come around to year 13, I'm going to have so much stuff for you that you are going to do absolutely amazingly. Ouch! This is why in some videos I have unexplained scratches.